so um, we have a new addition to the house, Megan, and she's going to introduce us to the project she's working on. Yay. Thanks. <laughs> All right. So, hi, I'm Megan, uh, and I am working on Multiverse. This is some of the stuff I've done. It's just random stuff. I am a kind of a game art generalist, but I also like doing illustration. So I dabble in a little bit of everything. But today I'll be talking more about Multiverse, which is my main project. I am lead artist at Multiverse. Um, there are 10 other Multiverse teammates uh, on our team. Uh, we recently added two more. We have Jen and Tiffany at the bottom there. And then we're also adding another pixel artist. Um, we just put the word out that we're hiring. So um, so things I do as lead artist on Multiverse varies quite a lot. Uh, I was the first employee that they brought on. Um, so I've really kind of dabbled in a bit of everything. Um, so first thing is obviously pixel art. Um, but I also manage the tasks for the other artists on the team. So right now we only have one, but we will be having another. Um, I do the layout and level design. Uh, I do the video editing. I assist with narrative. Uh, I do a small product manager tasks, uh, just like organizing things. Uh, and I like to think of myself as the designated cheerleader. <laughs> it's just the kind of energy I like to bring to the team. Um, so I wanted to show you guys, uh, so like, first of all, what is Multiverse, right? That's probably your first question. Um, so Multiverse is a video game platform reinventing how RPGs and tabletop games are played with a marketplace for creators to sell content. We recently uh, were going to do a Kickstarter uh, with everything that, you know, coronavirus hit. Uh, we decided to not do Kickstarter and have uh, changed the way we're uh, progressing. But the Kickstarter video is, is real great, so I want to show you guys that. It's kind of like an overall view of what Multiverse is. Everybody in? I'm ready to go. I'm good to go. I'm in. All right, let's do this. That was like our Kickstarter uh, video. Um, but after Kickstarter, things completely changed. 
um, we're starting to head like to start to work on the actual final product um, and that is what early access is all about right now um, which is what we're working on um, and in specific we're working on our first campaign that we'll be uh, dishing out to everyone which is called the nest there's tons of other stuff that involves like early access but I'm only covering this today so our goals for the nest um, is to create a fun, combat-free one-shot for early access members, uh, to use it as a tool for playtesting, uh, to develop our storytelling tools, to develop our overall IP team process, to develop the multiverse RPG system, and developing and defining the first verse. A lot of developing going on. Um, I am on the IP team, by the way. The IP team consists of like art, narrative, uh, mostly those two, and tying those together. So what I'm working on right now, I want to show you a little bit. Um, like this has been the past week since I got here, basically. Uh, I've been working on the layout and level design of the nest, uh, asset creation and narrative development of the nest. Um, so I'll do things like this, where you can see a very fade in the background, but I'll go in engine, create a like a basic layout for what I imagine the map will be like. And then I'll go into Photoshop and draw over it to show what assets we need, um, the overall like uh, layout design, how I'm, I'm thinking about the narrative in these, like I'm trying to think about where what paths they're going to take and everything. Um, the narrative and the la uh, layout design is super tied together. Um, and it's hard, it's also a lot to think about because these are going to be like role playing situations that like people are going to be exploring this map in. So you kind of have to try and make it as easy, like guide them in the direction that you want them to go. Um, I mean, traditional like environment design. So, um, and this is what the final product looked like. We're still working on a few things, but, um, uh, and it's unlit, so there's no shadows right now. Um, but yeah, so we play tested it uh, this uh, last weekend and it went really well and we're going to be continuing to play test this constantly. Um, hopefully I'll get to play test it with some of you guys. That would be really cool. Um, but yeah, I just kind of wanted to show you multiverse, what I'm working on, uh, and just kind of like introduce that to you guys. Um, yeah, thanks for listening. So. Questions, my friends. <laughs> <laughs> we have a request from the chef to see more of the pixel art character creator. So maybe you could show that uh, another week. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I can totally do that. Uh, we've done a lot of development to that recently. That's probably our most designed like user like experience at the moment. So yeah, I could totally do that sometime. What's up? Uh, since the Kickstarter got canceled, when is early access going to be available for? Opting in. That's a good question. Um, we are hoping, well, I mean, you can opt in for early access at any point. We do have an online store where you can buy early access. So if you go to playmultiverse.com, uh, there is like a shop that you can go to that allows you to buy all the same content that you would have like gotten through the Kickstarter uh, through a shop. Um, but we are thinking about actually rolling out uh, the access like around August. It's very loose August, but um, that's what we're hoping for. Yes. Uh, do you play this through a website? Uh, yeah, so this is um, browser-based. Uh, all of Multiverse is browser-based. So you can play it on your phone, your laptop, your tablet, or uh, PC. OK. And um, for the early access stuff, how do you, like uh, you talked about, you have to buy it off the website? Uh, is mm -hmm. that the only way right now? Uh, right now, yes. We'll probably, um, as we get a little bit closer, we're still like just developing a lot. We're in like developing mode. Um, we'll probably move towards like ease of access for early access pretty soon. Uh, I know we're starting to do that, um, but we have a Discord, and that is generally um, like people will get the earliest content there. Um, because we are very active in our Discord and we're trying to build our community around it. So generally, if you are in our Discord, you'll get to see things a lot earlier than anyone else. And there is like an early access like channel there for people as well. Are you planning to integrate with any future uh, other platforms in the future? 
Uh, by platforms, do you mean like? like well, like what, immediately when you said early access, I was thinking, oh, so this is going to be like through Steam, like a mm. Steam application. No, this is uh, completely our own platform. Um, so like, just like we'll have the game, we're also going to be creating a marketplace for creators to put content in. So uh, this is all going to be under one big multiverse umbrella. That's it. From this perspective of like, People that play tabletop role playing, where does this fall in with some of the popular tools like Fantasy Grounds, Wall 20, or just plain map making toolkits? Uh, so it is going to basically have, have all the same tools. Um, we're, I think what's going to be the major difference, like at, at least right now, is the overall uh, game system because we are first creating our RPG system. Um, so those tools for like D and D or other things might not be accessed right away. Um, it is something that like can be developed and like uh, like like could be developed for multiverse. Like we have that capability, but uh, we're focusing more on our own RPG system. But we will have all the same like map creation things. Uh, we'll have like uh, like atmospheric effects. Uh, we're working on some sort of um, like lighting system. Uh, for like visibility, so we're working on a lot of the same tools that they use, um, but for a kind of different goal at the, at the moment. Cool. Yeah. Yes. When do you plan to roll out the final-ish version of the first verse? I don't know. I have no idea. Um, we're focused really hard on the early access right now because we really want to get it into people's hands as early as possible. Um, and that is our goal at the moment. So I am not quite sure. Cool. Great. Thank you. I have two.